Hi there, Ben Chateau with the Physical Therapy Advisor. I uh, just want to talk to you guys today about wrist pain. I know um, that all of us are on the computer way more than we've ever been. Um, we're sitting in front of the computer, we're on our phones, and we really um, end up in kind of this position, whether we're typing or we're texting or whatever it may be, and we can start to develop pain in the wrist, um, more carpal tunnel, um, like symptoms through here. We might uh, start getting some tingling in our, our fingers from a, our elbow being bent too much, or maybe even uh, some lateral epicondylitis, having some pain along the outside, or even uh, the old golfer's elbow pain here on the, the inside. All of that can be uh, related to computer use, excessive phone use, really poor posture in general. So I just wanted to show you three quick exercises and stretches that you can do to help alleviate that. I find that it's best to do a little bit throughout the day than to try to take you know 20 minutes to do these kinds of things you know in the morning or the afternoon. Just throughout the day as you can remember to do them three, four, five times would be fine. Uh, the first one you've, I'm sure you've all seen before is just a stretch like this. If you can see where we're, we're bending the wrist back, uh, we might want to take the thumb with us and just get that stretch through the wrist flexors through here. And then we'll do the same this way. Sometimes I'll hold it static. Sometimes I'll do a little oscillation by bending my elbow. See that? And we can do the same over here where we bend the elbow and straighten it. Bend the elbow and straighten it just like that right trying to loosen up those tissues through here they just get so tight from that typing and from the texting and everything else and then thirdly as an exercise i got my sophisticated exercise device here it is a thick rubber band i like the broccoli rubber bands the best the big ones that come around broccoli or asparagus spears um, here in the states uh, but any type of thicker rubber band works. And what we're, the idea here is we want to work the extensors, right? The fingers extensors, the wrist extensors. So often when we do things, it's all about the flexors and it starts to overload the flexors. And so if we can get strength into that extension position, we will find that a lot of our symptoms just kind of go away. So with the rubber band, you put it around your fingers like this, and then you want to just extend and come back and really make sure that all the fingers are participating. You don't want to just have a few per se. You want all of them to work and it's nice, slow and easy. Just like that, you can hold for time, go for reps and just go till you feel a little bit of fatigue and that's good enough. Do that, you know, maybe five reps three or four times a day, maybe 10 reps three or four times a day. I actually keep one of these in my vehicle. So when I'm at a stoplight or just sitting there uh, waiting for traffic, I can grab that and do a few. Um, it's easy for me to do and then it keeps me off my phone. So many people grab their phone or when they're driving, don't do that. Um, instead, grab a rubber band and work those and make sure you do both sides, right? Don't forget your uh, non-dominant side. Same thing, all right? If you want more information and tips and tricks, um, be sure to check out my website at thephysicaltherapyadvisor.com and subscribe here to the YouTube channel at The Physical Therapy Advisor. Thanks again. Take care. See you all soon.